Welcome to Micron's Hardware. Today I have got this mini ITX motherboard from China for a review. This motherboard is Huanan GH610M ITX. And before I go into the review, I would like to say thank you to each and everyone who helped me developing my channel. Thank you for each view, for each subscription and for each like. Huanandri has finally noticed me and they would like to cooperate with me and provide me their products for reviews. They are still very cautious and not let me pick whatever I want to review, but this motherboard was sent to me free of charge. I only had to pay for shipping and the Swedish tax, and that resulted me about 20-30 euros. Speaking about the motherboard itself, unfortunately or fortunately, this review is going to be very short. The motherboard just works, and that's why I'm going to focus on the minor or major flaws. So, the first flaw or the first minus of the motherboard is that the motherboard comes without a Wi-Fi card. There is an M.2 slot on the motherboard where you can install DNVI or NGFF M.2 Wi-Fi adapters, but the adapter itself you have to buy yourself. The next limitation of the motherboard is that M.2 slot for SSD drives supports only NVMe SSDs. SATA SSDs would not work there. It might not be a major problem, but it's still a limitation. And the last issue that I consider to be somehow significant is that this motherboard still does not have a possibility to control speed of 3-pin fans. So you have smart fan function, you have two 4-pin headers, but only 4-pin PWM fans would be working with adjustable speed. If you connect a 3-pin fan, that fan will be working at 100% rotation speed, and usually that's pretty noisy. Switching to the positives of Huanan GH610M ITX motherboard, the first one is of course that everything works and it works as it should, and the second one is the VRM or the power delivery system. I have tested the motherboard with my Core i7-12700K and under ADA64 stress test, the power delivery system did not heat up more than 75 degrees Celsius. Of course, I have also checked all the internal components of the VRM and we have an 8-phase controller. Each phase has a doubler, so we have 8 pairs of MOSFETs. These MOSFETs are split in two groups, so we have 4 phases on one side and 4 phases on the other side. Each group is covered with its own radiator. One radiator is covering both MOSFETs and inductors, while the other radiator is covering only MOSFETs but not the inductors. That's why this half of the VRM is warming up more than the other one, and that's why I would still recommend you to have good or at least decent airflow in your chassis. Huanan G uses very fragile thermal pads between radiators and the VRM, thus if you do not have a thermal pad replacements, I do not suggest you to remove these radiators. If you remove the radiators, you destroy the thermal pad, and you will need a replacement to put them back. Nevertheless, if you plan to use your H610M ITX motherboard with a CPU like i3-12100 or maybe i5-12400 or maybe even i5-13400, this power delivery system is plentiful. Speaking about the 13th generation of Intel CPUs, according to Huanongjie's specification, the motherboard does support it. Unfortunately, though, the 13 gen CPUs are still rather overpriced here in Sweden, and I did not want to waste my money. Thus, in the future, if I will be able to score myself an i5-13400, I will test the motherboard and add a comment or somehow additional note if it actually works or doesn't work. Bias for this motherboard you can download from the official Huanangji page, but you can also download it from my OneDrive. To my OneDrive folder I have also added an English instruction how to do the BIOS flash using a USB flash drive. Finally, it's worth noting that I was not able to identify what's the difference between the white USB port and the black USB ports on the back side of the motherboard. The white USB port works just fine, just exactly the same as the black ports. Maybe the white USB port is used for some internal debugging by Chinese, but they are not willing to tell about it. And that's probably all I can tell about this Huanan G H610M ITX motherboard. If you need a mini ITX motherboard with LJ1700 socket, you like how the motherboard looks and the price is convincing, then you can buy this motherboard for budget gaming or not very gaming builds. With this I have to say thanks for watching, thanks for listening, I hope it was interesting and I hope I have helped someone. Bye bye!